my Mystic Tribe. This is Mystic Jen. I'm here with your daily reading for March 16th, 2020. This is a general read. This cannot and will not resonate with everybody. Energies are interchangeable. It could be your energy or someone that you're dealing with. This could be love, work, whatever, however it resonates. If this is not your story, maybe the next one will be. And these readings are timeless. So they usually play out like within a week or so. Within a week. In most cases. So I'm going to start with... One of these cards, one or two of these cards, maybe three, whatever spirit feels like throwing out at us. Okay, guidance and messages for my mystic tribe for March 16th, 2020. What messages and guidance do we have? Okay. Wow. Spirit really threw out some cards, didn't they? Okay, we've got the Freedom card. And Exploration. Wow, this is about freedom and exploring. Exploring new options and new paths and new avenues. Going down a new way. Soul journey and unconditional love. Wow. Okay, I see where this is going already. Um, this is about unconditional love from spirit. This could also be about motherly love as well. But I feel as though this is more spiritual because this is on you are on a soul journey, my friends. I feel like somebody is going through an awakening as Saturn gets ready to enter Aquarius on the 21st. Okay, we are already feeling these energies. And this new spiritual journey, this new soul journey, give, will give you a sense of freedom. Your, your soul, and releasing some lower vibrational energies and actually leveling up to higher dimensions and raising your own vibrations and exploring new worlds, new realms in your spirituality. Get some of these cards here. What additional messages and guidance do you have for my spirit tribe, please? Okay, we have three cards that came out. We have a helpful person, divine magic, and tranquility. Okay, you are definitely entering more peaceful times. So tomorrow's going to be bring about tranquility. Or, or the 16th is bringing about tranquility and divine magic. It is like the divine in the universe working on your behalf, bringing you up to new levels, new vibrational levels. There might even be somebody that plays a part in this. Maybe a mentor of some sort is what I'm 
feeling that somebody wants to help you and think of who that could be and and there could be an initial contact with somebody that kind of like inspires you so there might be an inspirational purpose person that comes into your life or they may already be in your life that kind of inspires you lights that spark helps you get on that new spiritual path and raise your vibrations and take you to new levels, new heights. And this person, whoever it is, they do feel an unconditional love towards you. They feel like a mentor. Let's see what messages the tarot has for us. Cards are kind of mixed up here. Evidently, they're supposed to be mixed up. Let's see what messages and guidance spirit has. Okay, we have the king of pentacles here this seems and but he's coming up in a reverse that you might have been dealing with somebody that was unreliable um somebody that uh, it feels like a miser that's somebody that he's very wealthy he has his he has his own money generally they take care of their family and people within their environment but it feels like that they were dealing with themselves and there was like and with justice reversed also next to that is feeling like that there is some sort of injustice involved with this that the and there were, which gave a false communications a false sense of security and a false start and which left you very confused not knowing what to do and it, and spirit is saying it's time to uh, you need to tap into your intuition and trust your instincts this is very emotional times and you are thinking in your head, you're thinking this is just so unfair and this person in your environment, they are def they definitely, I feel like they did not treat you fairly, that they, may, they were out for themselves. Sorry to say that, but they were definitely out for themselves and we have the Four of Swords here. There is a healing time from this. Okay, and this might be something that's been put to rest. You, Somebody may have chosen put this to rest. This person, I'm seeing frozen in time, frozen, frozen, frozen. I'm feeling like this person may have grown cold. Okay. Two of cups, you know, so, and it's in the reverse. This is what's on your mind. This is what you're thinking about. And I think that you feel like you have been treated unfairly, that maybe you are making decisions to break something off with this person here. This could be an earth sign or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But it is earth energy here. And we have earth and air here which conflict. They are enemies elementally. And it's like um, there is a struggle here to put something to rest. And in the element of air, air is about struggles. It is about the thought process. It's about the communication. And I feel as though because you feel, because things in your mind, you know, you were treated unfairly. And now you're at a point now where maybe you're thinking about blocking this person, walking away. On an emotional level, though, it, it, you know, it feels like the spark has died within this. And, you know, and you are being called to trust your instincts, trust your intuition. Get over that fear of being on your own and walking away. I know this is not a message that is going to be very popular to some.
But we have the Wheel of Fortune here. You know, the wheel is turning. Even though things seem to have gone south in this connection, it was destiny. It, it was meant to turn out this way. Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is about using your intuition and breaking free, breaking those ties. Okay? So you have been bound up. You, this is like a mental prison. You felt like that there was no escape. But my friends, Spirit is here saying that it is time to break free. And I feel like that by breaking free, it is bringing you to a new level of awareness. And this is also spiritual awareness with the moon card. So I feel like somebody is moving away from a lower vibrational energy here. Moving away from that feeling of defeat. That feeling of feeling down, feeling like things are so unfair, moving out of that, um, that mindset, you know, and this connection, if it is holding you back, is you, I think you're in a space of you are considering breaking free from that. And right here is right here. You are bound to this. It is breaking free. So I feel like you're breaking free from a connection that is unhealthy, that it's time to put it to rest. It's time to let it go. And it, and it is going to bring you to, some new spiritual heights, actually. This person may have held you back spiritually. And here we have a the card underneath the deck is the Two of Wands. So you are at a crossroads, my friends. You know, Page of Wands. This is com communicating. It is good news. It is positive. Three of Cups. Um, you know, this is getting out there socializing. You may have some positive inspiration. And getting out and socializing again. Page of Swords. You're not giving in to that energy anymore. And things are coming out and being revealed. Some lies and some truth. Some lies are coming to light. Some things that have been hidden. Okay. That is what I'm feeling here. So you are. I feel like you're on the road to enlightenment. But I think what has been holding you back is a low vibrational energy, a low vibrational connection or relationship that you were involved with. Okay. Um, let's see what else comes up. I hate to do this in the middle of a video, but I'm not feeling these cards for this particular reading. I'm not feeling the Kipper cards. I am feeling Lenormand, so that's what we're going with. Okay, let's see what additional messages and vibrations, messages and energies, guidance. Okay, what additional messages and guidances do you have? Yeah, this is doing it alone. The Tower Court has many meanings in the Lenormand. And in this instance, I feel like this is doing it alone. You know, being on your own. And also, levels. There's different levels to the Tower. And this is also rising up. I've, I've been saying this, leveling up. Leveling up. Raising your vibrations. Breaking free of the lower vibrational energies. This is on migration. This is movement and transformation. So yeah, you definitely are on the way to new levels. You are moving and you are moving away from this energy that has been holding you back. And I feel that it's been holding you back because somebody has been not, not fair to you. Okay, we have the broom and whip. This has been a repetitive cycle. It's like, it's really beat you down. And this is a cycle that's happened over and over. It's like you go back and forth, back and forth with this person. You are at a crossroads, my friends, to decide your path. 
your journey, okay? And you have to make the best decisions for yourself. And I do feel that that, you know, this, this falling apart, this false start with this relationship or whatever it is, whether it's business or romance or whatever, it, it was going to fall apart anyhow because it was not in alignment with your life path. And this is going back to your roots, my friends. This is the family tree. This is planting roots and this is health. And I feel like this is spiritual health here. So I do feel like spiritual health is in question here. Card under the deck is the mountain. It is time to remove that mountain, my friends. You know, here's a woman. She's either removing the mountain or this is a, if you're a man, this is a woman that's been in the way. Okay. It's time to take a closer look at and where you're going and where you're navigating to. You are definitely on the move. Okay. This is movement and one is a new direction of new path. Okay. So you are definitely on a new journey, my friends. You're about to start a new journey, but you need to get out of this lower vibration. Absolutely. And I, from what I see here, you are definitely moving towards that. And the universe is guiding this along the way. You have to have some trust and some faith in the due process. And this is about breaking free, having that freedom. And this is a soul journey. And I feel like whatever this situation is that has unfolded, and that you felt devastated, you felt betrayed, you were lied to, I do feel that it was meant to happen that way. It was a life lesson as much as we don't like to hear that. We don't like to hear life lessons. And then we think to ourselves, what the fuck was in my head before I incarnated into this life? Why did I choose this lesson? There was a reason. There was a reason. We call it lesson learned. So, yeah, this is definitely about moving away from this lower vibration and following your spiritual journey, your soul journey. Removing those obstacles, the obstacles that was in the way with somebody who wasn't being, doing right by you to begin with. And when somebody doesn't do right by you, they drag your energy down, they drag your vibrations down to their level, and you cannot progress forward on an emotional level, on a physical level, on a spiritual level. So... I do feel like tomorrow is going to be concentrated on and making decisions. The message for tomorrow is about making decisions. And I feel like it is about spiritual growth. You have this spiritual calling. Someone has a spiritual calling that they need to concentrate on right now. But this lower vibration has been holding them back. So this is the message I have for you for the 16th of March, 2020. I do thank you for watching. Please do make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. And you have a great day. Blessed be.